Rachel Bookworms. Today I'm going to be sharing my October book haul with you and I'm wearing a Halloween themed sweater in honor of this wonderful, wonderful month. I really have a lot of books here. I didn't realize just how many books, but it's a lot of books. We're going to just start with special editions as we always do. So first up I have the Waterstones edition of The Scarlet Veil by Shelby Mahurin. I love this. I think it's so pretty. I love, love, love the pages. They're absolutely gorgeous. The end papers are like lace and below the dust jacket is also like super gorgeous. This is the first book in a duology. It's a vampire romanticy and it's set in the same world as Serpent and Dove. I didn't end up finishing that series so I hope that I won't be confused reading this one but this is really the one that is like calling to me. Then I have the Waterstone special edition of Throne of the Fallen by Carrie Matascalco. This again, has really beautiful sprayed pages. This is Carrie's next book set in the same world as Kingdom of the Wicked, and this time we are following Prince Envy. And then just to show off the other one, I also got the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition of Throne of the Fallen. I really like the pink colorway of this one. It's so pretty. There's nothing on the pages or anything, but the key is so beautiful. And it does have a really beautiful map. Did also buy the Fairy Loot edition, but... That one just went on sale and has not shipped yet. Then I have the Waterstone Special Edition of The Fragile Threads of Power by Victoria Schwab. I ended up going with this edition because I felt like it was the closest to the rest of the books in the Darker Shade of Magic series. This one has really pretty hardcover casing. I really like these end papers and then it is actually also signed by Victoria. Then I have the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition of A Curse for True Love by Stephanie Garber. I am really hoping to have enough time to read this book this weekend. I am kind of bad at weekend reading in all honesty, but I have so many physical copies of this one coming that I just really want to read one of the physical copies. I also really love Below the Dust Jacket. It looks very dark academia. Then I have Fairy Loot's first three Vampire Academy books. First we have Vampire Academy, Beautiful Pages, beautiful backing. I just kind of showed you the spines. And then below the dust jacket, I love when there's metallic foiling. That just like really does it for me. <laughs> and also the reverse dust jacket art on all three of these is like amazing. Second book is Frostbite. Again with the metallic. On this one we have Lissa and Rose. And then the last one is Shadow Kiss and I cannot wait for them to finish and do the rest of the series. So spray pages, the backing the hardcover casing, and Alyssa and Christian. Then I have the Fairy Loot edition of If I Have to Be Haunted by Miranda Sun. And then this is below the dust jacket. There's also a reverse dust jacket art on this one. Then I have the Owl Crate edition of After the Forest by Kel Woods. They did a really pretty edition. I like this cover a lot and it has like orangey pages. This is the backing and then the spine is really pretty. This is the reverse dust jacket art of the best is the naked hardcover. I love this green foiling. And then the spine and the backing. Then I got the Easton Press edition of The Martian by Andy Weir. This was one of my favorite books that I read last year. It has gold gilded pages. It's a leather bound and it is signed by Andy Weir. Then I have the Fairy Loot edition of Son of Blood and Ruin by Marilee Lares. This one is like a Zorro inspired fantasy. The sprayed pages are so cool, but to be honest, I'm not really interested in reading this one, but it, it is a really pretty edition. Then I have the Broken Binding edition of Words of Kings and Prophets by Shauna Lawless. This one has really cool pages. This is the backing, the spine. I do like this very vibrant blue. There's nothing like on the front, but very pretty spine. And it's also signed. Then we have the Illumicrate version of A Study in Drowning by Ava Reed. This one is really pretty. They did like a blue colorway. It's interesting that they did a B format hardcover, which is a little bit shorter than your typical adult fantasy hardcover, but it has the blue pages. This is the back. What's really cool about this one is that I love the hardcover casing. I think that this is super unique and kind of unlike anything that they've done before. And also this is like major dark academia vibes. Unfortunately though, I read this book and I thought that it was just fine. I did not love it nearly as much as I expected to. Then I have the Illumicrate editions of Strange the Dreamer and Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. I think these are really gorgeous. I love the sprayed pages on them. Those are the backings. And while the dust jackets are okay, it's really the hard covers that I fell in love with. This is Strange the Dreamer. This is how I'm gonna be displaying them on my shelf. I'm not going to, I'm not gonna have the dust jackets on them. Signed by Lainey. And then this is Muse of Nightmares. 
Then I have the Fairy Loot edition of Fox Club. I just love this one because it had a fox on the cover. <laughs> it has sprayed pages. It's really the fox that sold me. And then again, the hardcover casing is amazing. It has lots of fox glove flowers, very nice end papers, and signed. Then we have the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition of Curious Tides by Pascal LaSalle. This is a purple colorway. The original one was blue, and then just has a little metallic design underneath, but nothing else really special. Then I have one of the most beautiful books that I've ever seen. So I just realized that fairy loot book that I showed was a September adult book. Their October adult book was The Hurricane Wars by Thea Guanzen. This is amazing. Like, look at this. This is fine, right? This is fine, but I'm obsessed. This is like literally one of the prettiest books that I've ever seen in my entire life. And I'm so, so glad that I have it. I think this is just like beyond stunning. It's very like tarot card and even the end papers have metallic foiling this is just wildly beautiful then i have the illumicrate special edition of sword catcher by cassandra claire i really like their edition it's very very pretty very pretty spine these sprayed pages look like stained glass which is really nice and then the tops are just solid purple and the bottom solid purple but again i love the naked hardcover because i love the dragon spine spine is actually really gorgeous too the backing and then this one and this one is signed as well then i have the broken binding special edition of the first book in the powder mage trilogy it's called promise of blood by brian mcclellan and to be honest i'm not really that interested in this series but i had already used my skip for the year and you can only skip one series per year so this is what we have and then this is below the dust jacket then the bookish box finally did a reprint of neon gods by katie robert i believe there were some issues with their original printing so they said that they would be reprinting all of them and resending them to anyone who bought them so this is it this is such a beautiful edition and i actually had totally forgotten that they even said that because i ordered this like years ago and it actually like it was before we moved <laughs> thank god i used andrew's work address so it got delivered then i have the fourth and final secret project from brandon sanderson this one's called the sunlit man and this one is a cosmere book which is very exciting it has black sprayed pages and just really lovely i love the red it also has a lot of illustrations in it and once again i'm just so impressed by these books i think they did such a great job with them dragon steel and i cannot wait to read this one then i usually save arcs more toward the end of the video however i have two really exciting ones the first one being evocation by st gibson i am so excited to read this one and i helped reveal the final cover for it over on instagram which was a lot of fun but i really like the arc cover too and like an arc with foiling yes please this one is just so so pretty and i'm really really looking forward to reading it and then random house sent me a copy of a fate inked in blood by daniel l jensen which is a book that they're publishing in february we talked about this one in a news video and i really love the cover art for this i think it is so so beautiful then we'll bang out a whole series so i got elsie silver's gold rush ranch series i am definitely not going to show these in order because i'm not going to look it up right now but we have Off to the Races, we have A False Start, A Photo Finish, and The Front Runner. And I just love these covers. I think the watercolors are so pretty and I love the horses on them. And then speaking of Elsie Silver, I also pre-ordered Hopeless, which is the last book in the Chestnut Spring series. This is actually a kind of a thick one, but this series is like my top priority for November. I really want to read literally every book in the series if I can. Then I have the paperback edition of Two Can Keep a Secret by Karen M. McManus. So I have put this book on hold at my library so many times, forgetting that they don't have a Kindle version. So I constantly put it on hold, wait for it to come in, and then I'm like, oh, I can't read it because there's no Kindle version. So I finally got a paperback. Random House actually was kind enough to send this to me. And I'm so excited to read it because it's one of the only two Karen M. McManus books that I have not yet read. Then I went to a really cute independent bookstore on Long Island called The Next Chapter. I've been so excited to go and I finally made it over there and I got three books. So I picked up Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. This is a hockey romance. It's one that I haven't gotten around to yet, but it's been so popular online. I feel like I can't go on Instagram without seeing someone post a photo of this book. I also got Whale Fall by Daniel Krauss. This is a 
horror book about a guy who gets swallowed by a whale and it's scientifically accurate and he only has an hour until his oxygen is going to run out. And then I also got Drowning by TJ Newman. This is a thriller that has gotten so many glowing reviews and I have a very strong feeling that it will be one of the Goodreads Choice Award nominees. So I do want to read this one before those come out so that I can maybe vote for it. And that sentiment also goes for None of This Is True by Lisa Jewell. I have not seen a negative review about this one and I'm so excited. I've never read a Lisa Jewell book before, but I would love to have another thriller author to just like go through their backlist. Then another kind of thriller novel, we have Bright Young Woman by Jessica Knoll. This is a Ted Bundy focused story, but it's actually like more heavily focused on the women that he killed. So it's interesting in that aspect because it's not really focusing on him as the killer, it's focusing on the women. Then I couldn't resist picking up some Christmas romances. So I have The Christmas Orphan Club by Becca Freeman. I've been really excited for this one. I've always loved Becca and Grace's podcast, Bad on Paper, and now Olivia is Becca's co-host. But it's been fun to hear Becca's journey of writing this book and getting it published. And I'm so excited to have a copy in my hands. And then I also got Faking Christmas by Carrie Winfrey. I honestly have no idea what this one is about, but I love the cover. I think it's so cute. I also got a little bit of like a Hanukkah romance maybe. This one is called Kissing Kosher and it's by Jean Meltzer. This one follows a guy that ends up working at a kosher bakery that is like his family's competition and I think the two of them have like a strenuous relationship because he's kind of like infiltrating their bakery to find out their secrets. Then I have Christmas in Quincy which is a novella set in the same world as the Edens. I've been kind of binge reading the Edens series. I read like three of the novels in October and this one's actually a prequel so I could read it anytime but I was saving it for Christmas season and I also got the other Eden's novella which is the Eden's a legacy story and I think this one follows the parents this one takes place after book four so I have one more book to read and then I can read this then I got the box set of Jennifer Lynn Barnes's The Natural series if you've been following my channel for a while you'll know that I love Jennifer Lynn Barnes I fell in love with her fixer series back in like 20. 14, 2013, I can't even remember, but I just love her book so much. I've read almost everything, but this is one series that I just hadn't gotten around to and it's getting so much buzz lately, which is so exciting. I think Jennifer Lynn Barnes should get all of the attention. So I'm very much looking forward to reading these. Then I got volume 11 of Witch Hat Atelier. This is the next volume in the series and I'm very much looking forward to catching up. I still have to read volume 10, so I have 10 and 11 left. Then Random House was kind enough to send me an illustrated copy of Aragon by Christopher Paolini. This is so exciting. My brother was obsessed with these books when we were younger and I'm so excited to finally read and experience this story. And they have said that if this first volume does well, then they will be illustrating the rest of the books in the series as well. And then there's just a nice little dragon on the cover. And then I have two things that are not books, but I just wanted to share them anyway. So the first one is the new Nintendo Switch game of Avatar The Last Airbender. I'm trying to make this not shiny. It actually follows the story, like the animated story pretty closely, which is exciting. And it's a two player game. So Andrew and I are looking forward to playing this one together. That pile is about to fall. And then I also got the 15th anniversary edition. And then I also got the 15th anniversary edition of the Twilight movies. So very excited to have and to watch these. But that's all that I have for this book haul. Let me know if you've read anything that I have mentioned and I will see you guys soon in a new video. Bye.